This is a VTube laser training video for reverse engineering. To start a reverse engineering project, first we switch to the Part Setup menu and enter the Part Setup data. Since VTube laser can calculate the diameter as it measures, we can skip entering the diameter data in the Part Setup menu. The cut length can be calculated from the measured data after the measure is complete. If you know the bend die radius that will be used to bend the tube, enter it here. Switch to the Measure Setup menu and be sure that all the laser modes are on by default. Next, switch to the Measure Process menu. Set the number of straights in the tube to be measured, then press the Measure Tube button. The Measure Tube Control window will guide you through the measurement of the tube. Take the arm and measure end A. Each measurement is taken by pressing the green button. Audio feedback is critical in B-Tube. When the pitch changes, then release the green button and move to the next measurement location. The small orange points on the screen are returned from the laser line probe. We scan a cross-section near end 1, then another near end 2 of each straight. When the measurement is complete, press the Calculate New Measured Data button. The completed tube is displayed on the screen automatically. You can press Orbit, then drag on the screen to orbit the part. Next, press Data Handling, then copy Measured to Master to create the master data. To send the new data to a bender, press Data Handling, then Bender Setup. This is the Bender Setup menu that will contain data for the bender for this part. The data is still set to all zeros until you copy the master LRA data into this menu's Bender Setup LRA data. After you set the correct bender number, press Send Nominal Data to the bender. At this point, we recommend that you move to the bender, finish the setup at the bender, then bend the tube. Exit the Bend Setup menu and save your project. B-Tube Laser is now completely set up for inspections and corrections for this part. 